At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have worked. Because we know that if you grow, you the community day. will grow with you. That's At the Bendigo, it starts with you. Welcome back to the Geelong Cricket Show. What's that email address out there? Yes, it is Rollo7 at bigpond.com. That's the one we want you to send any questions and in particular your comments and your views on where the Geelong Cricket Association Division 1 Grand Final should be played. Currently, it is Queen's Park down there at Stinton Oval that is leading by a few lengths as they come into the home straight ahead of Winter Reserve in East, in, uh, down East, uh, East Belmont. And I can tell you that the, after personally looking at Stinton Oval, it is in absolute pristine condition. Great grass coverage. The wicket is magnificent. Graham Taylor, GT, keep up the good work, mate. Newtown and Chewell, Stinton Oval, for the Division 1 Grand Final. What's your thoughts? As we switch our attention to Division 2, and maybe it's going to be South Barwon Reserve where they play the Division 2 Grand Final, but this man we're going to speak to now may have other thoughts. Craig Goodbully, how are you, mate? I'm good, thanks, Graham. Yourself? While we're on hot on that, what uh, what what are you? Do, do you feel that, first of all, quite seriously, do you feel there is a ground in Division 2 that uh, is in good enough condition at the moment uh, to hold a Division 2 grand final on if there are better prepared Division 1 grounds available? Probably not at the moment. I think um, some grounds have good outfields but a, a bad table and other way around some have got a good table and a bad outfield. So I think um, if there's a, a decent GCA Division 1 ground available then that should be played there. And South Bound's a, a perfect ground. You think too, Graham, that they'd want to play them sort of co close together so even if they were being played on the same day, that maybe you could get from the GCA Division 1 to the GCA Division 2 and then actually get a look at both as well. Yeah, that's, that, that's one particular view. But, uh, I mean, if uh, you looked at Division 2, one could say you could play uh, the uh, Division um, 2 Grand Final on the um, South Barham Reserve, maybe Division 3 Grand Final on the uh, Marshall, Marshall Ground right next door. But anyway, you have your say. Rollo7 at bigpond.com. That's where you send it to. Craig Burley, you've been a bit of a, uh, a journeyman in the world of cricket. Uh, where did it all start for you, mate? Um, I first started with the Chewell Footballers at um, Arrowsley Reserve. Oh, the old Chewell Footballers. Many moons ago. Yes. Um, and then they folded and Rusty Goldie got us up to uh, Geelong Cement. Um, so I spent uh, 13 years there and then the last two seasons at Bell Park. How have you enjoyed Hamlin Park? Yeah, it's been good. It's been very good. Very good social club and... Um, uh, I guess before I arrived there, they were struggling a bit in the cricket section. Um, so I guess my main job was to try and turn that around. Um, in the two years I've been there, that we certainly have turned that around quite quickly. Um, I think before I got there, they were struggling to field three teams. Um, and we're, we're doing four comfortably now. So that was the first job, is just to get them competitive again, get, uh, get the numbers back and get them enjoying their cricket. Junior development, uh, obviously it's an important uh, matter for all clubs to address. How are Bell Park going in that regard? Yeah, very good. There's a, a young fella down there by the name of Nick Wade um, who's been the junior coordinator the last two years, seasons I've been there. Um, we started a Milo program this year, so their first one, which I think is important for all clubs to, to, to start it at the Milo level. Um, under 11s, under 15s and under 17s this year, so a really healthy junior program there and probably mainly due to the work of, of Nick Wade, who's been fantastic. No, that's good to hear. Obviously, I know a little bit about Wadey. Focusing on the cricket, though, and how you've been going this season, obviously out at the Dragons, you've got Heighton this weekend. How have you found the first half of the season, Craig? I think sitting about ninth at the moment. Yeah, it's been a, a bit of a struggle this year, I guess. Um, even, uh, I guess, playing-wise, we've, we've won two games. Um, I guess the problem with, with our batting, we just haven't made enough runs, basically. Uh, we've bowled teams out for 150 on most occasions and just haven't been able to get the runs on the board. You'd have to say that's probably been the key. I think Jared Andrews has probably been the one. He's pitched in with 30s and 40s sort of most weeks, but there just hasn't been someone there to support him. And as you say, I think you, yourself and Dennis Jaruga have been getting wickets every week, but 
just haven't had that uh, support in the batting. No, that's right. And Jared's been fantastic to see a young uh, 17 year old kid who hits the ball really hard. Um, but yeah, we've, we, we try and work on partnerships and just haven't really been able to string some partnerships together. Um, we picked up Mick Eborn this year to, to help in that batting department. Um, by his standards, he, he hasn't really fired for us. So hopefully looking for a big year, uh, second year from Mick. Um, and once again, we, we do get a lot of guys getting into 20 and 30 and, and then going out. So we're really looking for those guys to push on to 60s and 70s. And that loss to Marshall just before Christmas as well. I know you probably gave yourself a chance of making the final still just before that, but that's probably going to prove costly in the wash-up, you'd think, at the end of the season. Yeah, possibly. Um, I think we're still only a game out of the finals. Uh, mathematically, we can, we're can we still in there with a chance, but there's probably even a few games earlier that, that cost us that we bowled Manifold out, Heights out for 130 and St Peter's for 130 yeah. and uh, couldn't capitalise it with, with the bat, so they, they might cost us. Your own form, you mentioned uh, Dennis Drag. Between the two of you, you've taken 53 wickets for the season, yourself 33 wickets. Uh, you must be pleased with that for a start. Yeah, look, the, the bowling and the fielding has been fantastic and, and can't ask for, for much more than that. As you said, 55 wickets, 22, I think, from Dennis, which is fantastic up to Christmas. Um, but once again, it doesn't count for much if we can't make the runs and, and win games. So far this season, uh, in the first half of the season, who uh, who would you feel has been the toughest competitor you've faced? Um, I think Manifold Heights are the strongest team by far. Um, and depth-wise, uh, they've got pretty most everyone covered. Um, I think Merger Bullock have been a, a bit of a surprise. Um, uh, ladder-wise, they're, they're quite high on the ladder. I also think Thompson and Heighton, I've, I've always rated Heighton quite highly, but they probably haven't... Um, got the results for their ability. Um, so I think Manifold, Heighton and Thompson are, are probably the three better teams. Um, from who we've played so far, I, I thought North Shore were quite strong too and I think they're a bit of a darky. If they can if they can get their good players playing well, they'll, they'll surprise a few. Um, but I, I think Manifold Heights, if they all fire and they, they have the depth, I think, to win it. And what about the switch to obviously GCA moving to three divisions this year, Craig? How have you found that? And being a part of uh, GCA Division Two, do you think they've got it right and got the right sort of mix with the teams that are in there? Yeah, look, Division Two is, is quite a strong competition this year compared to last year. There was, um, I guess, uh, quite a few easy easy wins and easy beats last year, and changing uh, changing the structure to the three uh, competitions really strengthened Division Two at least. Um, so that uh, it's made, I guess, my job a little bit harder. Or the lower teams in Division Two a little bit harder. But I think for overall cricket in Geelong, it's been a much better even standard. This afternoon, uh, it is Heighton taking on Bell Park up at McDonald Reserve on the turf. Craig Burley will be uh, putting all of his talents to full array with the uh, nice red new cherry. We'll take a break on the Geelong Cricket Show and be back with more after this. At Bendigo Bank, we like to help communities grow. We concentrate on delivering you great products and services. Oh, I like you so very much. So much in fact, I gotta wake you up. It's not that I have Because we know that if you grow, the community will grow with you. At the Bendigo, it starts with you.